In this video, we're going to do a practice question on vertical curves, and specifically the length of a crest curve. The question is, a vertical curve was designed in 2006 for SSD requirements at a design speed of 120 kilometers per hour to connect grades G1 equals plus 1% and G2 equal to minus 2%. The curve is to be redesigned for a 120 km per hour design speed in the year 2050. Vehicle braking technology has advanced such that the vehicle deceleration rate has increased by 40% relative to 3.4 meters per second squared value used in the original design. However, due to the higher percentage of older people in the driving population, design reaction times have increased by 20%. Also, because vehicles have become smaller, the driver's eye height is assumed to be 0.9 metres above the pavement. Compute the difference in design curve lengths for the 2006 and 2050 designs. Assume HI is equal to 1.08 metres and HOBS is equal to 0.6 metres. The text that I underlined in the previous slide has now been shown here in bold. The black text relates to parameters and the red text relates to the questions that we must answer. So to answer this question, we need to determine the design vertical curve length for both the 2006 and 2050 scenarios and calculate the difference. How do we calculate the vertical curve length? We use the stopping site distance criteria. Let's go ahead and extract all the parameters from the information given to us. I see that G1 is equal to plus 1% and G2 is equal to minus 2%. I can then go ahead and calculate the value for A, which is equal to the absolute value of G2 minus G1. That is, A is equal to the absolute value of minus 2% minus 1% equals the absolute value of minus 3% or equal to 3%. Therefore, A is equal to 3%. Moving along through the text, I can also pick out the design speed. which is the same in 2006 and 2050. I've converted the design speed to meters per second here so that it is in SI units. Now let's interpret the rest of the information. We have been told that the vehicle braking technology has been advanced such that the vehicle deceleration rate has increased by 40% relative to 3.4 meters per second squared. Now let's calculate a 40% increase of 3.4 meters per second squared. So in 2050, A is equal to 3.4 times 140%, which is an increase of 40%. Putting this into my calculator, I get 4.76 meters per second squared. Now let's move on to TPR. We have been told due to the higher percentage of older people in the driving population, design reaction times have increased by 20%. Now in 2006, we take the design reaction time to be 2.5 seconds, which is the uh, stand, uh, standard perception reaction time and in 2050 it has increased by 20% so calculating an increase of 20% we say TPR is equal to 2.5 times 120% putting this into my calculator I get 3 seconds now in terms of HI and HOBS we've been given values that we've been asked to uh, safely assume. But we've also been told that because vehicles have become smaller um, from 2006 to 2050, 
The driver's eye height is assumed to be 0.9 metres above the pavement. Therefore, in 2006, I can assume HI and HOBS are these values, but in 2050, I have to assume that HI is equal to 0.9 metres. And then we're also not told that HOBS changes, therefore I've kept it at 0.6 metres. So now we've extracted all of the information from the question um, out into uh, the various parameters. Before we get to the stage where we can compute our design curve length, let's go ahead and compute our SSD, which will be required in the design curve length formula. So using this equation here, for SSD, we can calculate SSD in both 2006 and 2050. Before we substitute values into the SSD formula, please note that for a conservative answer, the longitudinal grade G will be assumed to be zero rather than G1. So we can cancel the uppercase G from the SSD equation and consequently, the lowercase g for gravity now cancels out. So now we've greatly simplified the SSD equation. We can sub substitute values in. So in 2006, SSD is equal to V33.33 times TPR two point five plus V squared thirty three point three three squared over two times A. A is three point four. Putting this into my calculator, I get 246.73 metres. And for 2050, SSD 2050 is equal to V squared 33.33 times TPR, which is 3 seconds, plus V squared. 33.33 squared over 2 times A, which is 4.76. Putting this into my calculator, I get 216.71 metres. Here's an interim question. What type of curve are we designing? A crest or a sag curve? If you look at the information given, G1 is 1%. That is a positive slope. G2 is negative 2%. That's a negative slope. Therefore, we're, we're designing a crest curve. To determine the length of our vertical curve, we're going to consult our Ostrode standards. Within the standards, we have two sets of equations. Which one should we use? One applies for crest curves and one applies for sag curves. We know that we are going to design a crest curve, so we're going to use the section for crest curves highlighted here in orange. However, we are presented with two different equations. Which one should we use? Well, we don't actually know which one to use because they apply in two scenarios. Equation 1 applies when SSD is less than L and equation 2 applies when SSD is greater than L. Now, because we don't know what L is, this definition here is actually unhelpful for us. We don't know whether SSD is greater than or equal to L or less than L. Instead, we're going to have to arbitrarily pick one equation and then check our assumption. We should also note that there is a bare minimum curve length and that is L is equal to 0.6V. 
Let's go ahead and just choose one of the equations. Assuming that SSD is less than L, I would use this equation. Let me go ahead and solve for K for 2006. K is equal to SSD squared, which in 2006 was 246.73 metres squared over 200 square root of HI, which was 1.08 in 2006, plus H obs, square root of H obs, which was 0 0.6 in 2006 squared. Putting this into my calculator, I find that K is equal to 92.517. Now in the previous slide, we also had a governing equation. L is equal to Ka. What is A? We found that A is equal to 3%. Therefore, let's calculate what L is. L is equal to K, 92.517 times 3, which gives us 277.55 metres. I just note that this A refers to percentage. Therefore, I substitute in 3, not 0 0.03. Now that we know what L is, let's check our assumption that SSD is less than L. SSD is equal to 246. 0.73 and L is equal to 277.55. SSD is less than L, therefore the assumption holds. Let's also check that L is greater than 0.6b. Because on the previous slide we learnt that there is a minimum value for L. Now, 0.6b, b being 33.33, is equal to, or approximately equal to 20. If L is 277.55, it is much greater than 20. Therefore, we can use L is equal to 277.55. So now we have our vertical curve length for the 2006 scenario. Now let's go ahead and calculate our vertical curve length for the 2050 scenario. Repeating our steps, we're going to assume that SSD is less than L again, and therefore use this same equation for K. Substituting in my values, I have K is equal to SSD. SSD in 2050 is 216.71 squared over 200 HI, which in 2050 is 0.9 meters, plus H obs, which in 2050 is 0.6 meters, all squared. Entering this into my calculator, I find that K is equal to 79.085 in 2050. Once again, we should calculate for L. L is equal to KA, which is equal to 79.085 times 3. That is equal to 237.26 metres. Checking our assumptions, as to whether SSD is equal to L, I have SSD is 216.71 metres, L is 237.26 metres, SSD is less than L, therefore we were correct to use the, this equation for K. And now we also check that L is less than 20, which is the minimum length for L.
Therefore, we can use L is equal to 236.26 metres. Therefore, we have our curve length for 2050. Now we can compute the difference in our design curve length for 2006 and 2050. L in 2006 minus L in 2050 is equal to 277.55 minus 237.26. This gives us 40.25. 30 meters. So now we've solved the question. The question asked us to compute the difference in design curve length for 2006 and 2050. We found the vertical design curve length in 2006 and in 2050 and we subtracted them from each other. So this number here, 40.30 meters, is the answer to this question. Here is how we'd represent our answer in word form. Therefore, the length of the vertical curve reduces by 40.3 metres in 2050 relative to 2006. Thanks for watching this video and good luck.